Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this should be interesting. Here from Boston, Massachusetts. Happy Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. This is Midweek Challenge from the Icons. This is the iconic Midweek Challenge, I should say. And we're kicking things off here in the United States Arena. Scars and Stripes with the European Championship that is on the line. As we have a special guest, Tazawa, going to be challenging for the European Championship. Remember to qualify for the European Championship, you can't live in the United States. So anyone else is welcome to chance for it. Of course, that is an open challenge to a lot of people. Of course, our current champion, the soccer prodigy, Cernan Berkowitz, is in fact going to defend. And we have been asked all over the place when he's going to return. Well, the answer is now, ladies and gentlemen. As Sonny Berkowitz gets ready to make his return to the ring. And here he comes. The soccer prodigy from Moscow, Russia. Oh boy. He's ready. Looks focused. Poised. Ready. Berkowitz makes his way to the ring. Soccer prodigy. He's also dabbled in MMA and so forth. Mixed martial arts. Another one of those uh, athletes from the fine people who have nothing to do with anything as we take the stance where athletes and politics are separate. So we celebrate our F4L who has nothing to do with the politics so but not as Berkowitz gets ready to defend the European Championship here. Looks pretty focused. It's been a long time since he's been in action, but he looks to be in phenomenal shape, the young man. Trying to see how he works out. There you see it, the European Championship that is on the line. That's Tozawa from Okinawa, Japan. Rikovitz from Moscow, Russia. Completely qualify. So we're getting an opportunity here. Not many people get opportunities. He had, I don't remember the last time he had a title match. That was a serious title. Of course, Rikovitz loves the challenge. The soccer prodigy. Loves to utilize his kicks and sways and so forth as well as combat skills. Look, it's getting a pretty good reaction here. As he's ready. Should be interesting. If he hands the title over to the referee. The referee shows Tozawa. That is what they're fighting for, the European Championship. Open anyone from not in the United States. Of course, a little later on, we will have a United States title match. There's the bell, and it's on. Oof. Berkowitz starts things off with some chops and a kick. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Pretty focused here, the young man. He hasn't had action in quite some while. Wow, quickly. Skills of a cat already for the high rank district. No wasted movement here. Off the ropes. Double knee stomp. You know, we have said before, time and time again. Oh, what's this now? Ooh, Verkovitz. Because Yasini enjoys soccer so much and, and whatnot. Football, if you would, for the most people, for most of the world, football is the you know, universal sport. Here in America, they usually call it soccer. But regardless what you call it, in football or soccer, you're not allowed to use your hands as much, which is why you have to get used to using kicks and legs and so forth. And Verkovitz with a hell of a spine buster to Tazawa, our special guest here, challenging for the European Championship, calling an elbow tie up. Rickman sends him over the top rope to the outside. I should mention title match rules are in place. 
pinfalls, submissions, knockouts, anywhere in the building. Rippers with a knee to the face. He said how when you were into football, you utilize a lot of the leg strength training. And what's this now? Oh no. Vicious. <laughs> and some, because Berkowitz have been had a match in so long, he's almost just playing around with this hour, just picking and destroy a watch out here. Oh goodness. Face first into the mat. Could be it. Stamp of disapproval. Verkovitz picks up the win. What a match it was. Verkovitz still your Euro European champion. Let's see if you can see any of that match. Apparently not. <laughs> Verkovitz still your European champion. Congratulations to him. The hot number 13. <laughs>